Right you guys, got another video here for you. Microsoft will automatically keep you signed in to your Microsoft account from February. So Microsoft have decided in their infinite wisdom to change the way we sign into our account. So you can see here, stay signed in, uh, stay signed in so you don't have to sign in again next time. This message will soon be removed from February. You won't be getting this message so under the new system, what's going to happen is users will stay signed in across sessions unless they sign out from that account itself. Now, a big security flaw here on Microsoft's part is I'll explain a little bit later on. So what does this change mean? Let's go through and take a look at what this change actually means. So when you sign in to your account via this method, Microsoft will then sign you into your Microsoft account in your web browser like you're seeing right here. And you'll get the option saying stayed in on this prompt screen like you're getting here. So basically you need to provide your username and your password at this stage or your email address and password. And they also have an optional two-factor authentication verification stage, which is what I have on my account. But when you decline at this window, if I say no, what will happen is you'll stay signed in for that session only. And then when I close the browser and open it up again, I won't be signed in. So when you accept this window right here, you will stay signed in even across sessions. And this prompt is now going to be going away from February. You're not going to receive this uh, stay signed in prompt screen anymore from February. So I'm going to say yes here, but basically the change is also going to affect all Microsoft services. And this includes all your Outlook, your Microsoft 365, your OneDrive and other services and products that Microsoft support during this login stage. So a new global sign out option is now going to be available. So when you get to this window right here, this is where you can make changes. And I'll show you that a little bit later on in the video once we've signed in. So now imagine that you've signed in on this new way of signing in. Okay. So just imagine in February, once you've signed into your account, you are literally going to be signed in. So when you click on something like this in the new way, you will automatically be signed in. As you can see here, it's not going to be signed out. And this is what the new method is going to be. And this will be across all sessions and all devices that you're using on that account now for someone like myself it's not a major problem but for a lot of people this is going to be a major concern and a major issue because you could be in a library signing into your account or you could be on a friend's computer or someone else's computer or or something like that or maybe in some sort of cyber cafe if you sign in with that computer and you're not signing in like this on an incognito window or you're not using a privacy browser like say incognito then basically what's going to happen is that information will be stored on that computer and whenever someone else comes up and goes to microsoft.com they're automatically going to be signed into your account which is a major security risk or major security flaw and I don't think Microsoft have really thought about this. The only way around it is either using incognito uh, on your browser or or private browser or using something like the sign out method, which has always worked. So these are the reasons why you need to make sure that you are signing out. Now, the problem is with this method is you're now putting the uh, pressure onto someone to remember to sign out of that account otherwise there's going to be a major issue so to sign out of your microsoft account everywhere and i mean all of your devices if you accidentally signed in to say a computer in the library with your microsoft account and you didn't sign out officially by going to the sign out up the top of the right hand side of the screen to sign out of that account, then you will need to do what I'm going to show you here. How to sign out of your Microsoft account everywhere. And it says, if you think someone might have unauthorized access to your account, we can protect you by signing you out from all of your trusted devices within 24 hours. You would then be signed out of all your browsers, apps, and anywhere else your account is used to sign in, except for your Xbox uh, console. Now, to do this, you need to sign into your account and you will automatically be signed in 
or you'd need to put in your details. And what you need to do here is when you get to this security page, which I showed you a little bit earlier on, you would then uh, need to come down and use the sign out everywhere feature that is now going to be added to this account. Now, remember, if you've gone to, say, a library and you've signed into a, a computer there at the library and you never signed out of it using the sign out option, you would need to use this feature, which is called sign out everywhere. If you think someone might have unauthorized access to your account, we can protect you by signing you out from your trusted devices. Again, it's going to sign you out of everything apart from your Xbox but it's also going to sign you out everywhere, including that device at the library that you forgot to sign out of or your friend's house or CyberCaf or something like that and using other people's computers, which they don't recommend you do. They always recommend that you use an incognito window or to make sure you sign out of that account before you leave that computer. And that way that people can't automatically sign back in. But if you have signed into a computer and you haven't signed out using the sign out method or you haven't used an incognito window, then you would need to use this sign out uh, everywhere feature that Microsoft have in your account. But again, it can take up to 24 hours for you to be signed out across all of those computers. So remember, if you are using it from February onwards, it's always best to sign out like I'm doing right up here every time you use your Microsoft account. And that way, it's not going to keep you signed in across all of these devices. Otherwise, if you don't sign out, you are going to be signed into every single device and it will allow people to gain access if you are using library computers or any other particular type of computer. You can see now I've signed out and I click on that sign in button. It's not letting me sign in automatically. And that's because uh, we have now officially signed out of our account. So remember, it goes back to using the common sense method of making sure you either use an incognito window when you're on someone else's computer or make sure you sign out of that account after you've finished using uh, that account on someone else's computer. But probably the best option is never sign into a Microsoft account in the first place on a computer that you don't own. And this would go for, for anything like banking or any other sensitive information that could be stored on that website that you're signing into, especially if you're signing into it on a device or a computer that you don't own. It's a big major security risk. And I do believe that people will fall foul to this. They are going to sign into their account in, say, a library or a cyber cafe or something like that. And they're going to forget to sign out and they're going to be signed in and they will be signed in globally across all of their Microsoft platform, no matter what devices they are. And if someone comes along and uses that computer and opens the browser and goes to Microsoft, they are going to be signed straight into your account. So either make sure you don't sign in on any other computer other than your own or make sure you sign out uh, officially otherwise you're going to end up allowing others to sign into your account anyway but that said my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk let me know in the comments section what you guys think about this and whether it's a big deal or not a big deal i'll be happy to read your comments also a big shout out to all my youtube members i appreciate the support and i shall catch you in the very next video thanks again for watching bye for now